when we are in the process of designing syllabus for second language writing, we'll have to keep in mind the significance of goals, how we can set them up, and how we can meet them up. And in this regard, it's the role of the teacher who is syllabus by herself, who is curriculum by herself. And this, this exercise needs to be done almost on a daily basis. Although we have some prescribed books available, textbooks or course books, which, def which have well-defined goals and which have well-defined means to achieve those goals and which are measurable, which are um, achievable. But it's actually the teacher who is doing, who is actually practically realizing those goals in the classroom. So setting up and meeting up those goals in second language classroom is important. So it's important that the teacher makes the use of the assessment, needs assessment, which she has done before. The information she has gleaned through needs assessment. And then on the basis of that information, to identify, articulate, and negotiate the desired outcomes of a writing course. Right? Now it can be useful for students. And teacher role is not to accept the goals which are prescribed or given in a course book or textbook as, as they are, rather to mold them because each class is full of challenge, is unexpected results. There can be some questions, There's some, there can be some long discussion, and it depends the kind of level you are teaching. So teachers should work on goal statements almost in every lesson. And I would suggest from my own personal point of view that we should write our goals and then objectives and how we can meet those objectives once the class is over, right? Goal store statements should reflect cognitive, linguistic, and academic and analytical skills which the students are being trained for. What, what's their understanding about essays? What's their understandings about the notion of letter writing? What's their understanding how academic essays can be useful for real life purposes and how we can bring in or develop or inculcate analytical skills. So teacher role is key when especially when the goals are being prescribed to because it's the teacher who are going to execute those goals in true letter and spirit. And it's the teacher who is going to realize the main importance of those goals in the classroom, right? So I would like, I'm just presenting an observation by Graves 2000 uh, about the role of the teacher and the significance of goals. Teacher actually lays down the goals which help students see learning as purposeful because what they do in the classroom is related to the main purpose. Of course, teachers, let me explicate this one further. The teacher have some agendas when they, are, when they go into the classroom. They have some purpose. And what's that agenda needs to be manifested through their pedagogical practice. Goals and objectives provide a basis for making choices about what to teach and how. For example, if we want to teach them vocabulary, it will depend upon what goals we have. Whether we have lesson planned through communicative teaching methodology or task-based methodology or approach or grammar translation methodology or direct method or um, audiolingual method. So it depends. It depends the choices we make in the classroom. It depends what we teach and how we teach. 